What's up, Dar Sizzle Nation? You guys asked for it, and we're gonna bring you another catch and cook. Darcy's dad caught the fish. Darcy cleaned the fish. They're gonna cook the fish, and I'm gonna eat the fish. <laughs> you got a fish? I got a fish. He's big. I hand it. I need the bottom. Hold on, hold on. I need to jump. You're a big jack, man. Oh, nice. Perfect. No, it's no. a snook. It's a snook. Keep him on. Get in there, Carl. Right, oh, give him that. Give him that. Right to the net. Nice. Yeah, that's what? All right, we just got the first fish in the boat. First snook of the day. And my dad caught it all by himself. <laughs> this is awesome. And this is close. This guy could be a slot. So right perfectly in the corner of the mouth, circle hook did its job. And um, the, a lot of the times when the fish takes the bait, he ends up hooking himself with the circle hook. So these these hooks are really great to use and it's conservation. So we're gonna use another mullet that size. Beautiful fish, check out that fish. Score man, right. awesome. Let's go uh, measure him real quick and then we'll get a picture. Look at his tail. Beautiful. Looks like he got bit in the tail there. Look at that, yeah, that discoloration. Okay, let's get a measure on this. Beautiful snook, right on the zero. And this is a slot fish. Look at oh, that. Man. Dad just landed oh, a right. slot. That is awesome. It is snook season. He's right on the 30. These fish have to be between 28 and 32 inches long, so this guy is right in the middle. We're gonna keep him, right? Absolutely. Let's dinner. Let's do it. We got dinner, guys. <laughs> awesome. All right, that's awesome, guys. We came out here living the dream and fulfilled our our, our goal today. Getting getting Dad a, a snook, a nice slot okay. snook. And just goes to show you, you know, yesterday Darcy changed the size of the bait. They wanted a bigger bait, and then we started catching fish. And today we're using those bigger baits again. And Darcy decided to change the size again and, and made us put out a smaller bait and instantly caught a snook. So it's not only the, the type of bait, it's also the size of the bait. You got to match the hatch, of course, which means match whatever's in the water. Uh, so it was a great job. Good job, Sizzle. Woo! Sizzle did that. She's a good fisherman. Yeah, we came here this morning and we had just little like right, two out. inch little baits and um, I just had a feeling that they wanted big ones. So we went offshore, found the schools, cast it on them, we got them, brought them here and my dad just caught a snook. I'm pretty stoked. That's awesome. And it's a keeper. All right guys, we are back home from catching this fish. Now it's time for me to go ahead and fillet it and then we're gonna cook it. And if you're interested in this brand new Dark Sizzle t-shirt, as well as bracelets and any type of Dark Sizzle merch, check out the links down in the description below. Now let me show you guys the tools I'm gonna be using in order to cut this fish. Let me get the ice off of him. He's gonna be delicious, I can't wait. But the knives I like to use are Bubba Blade knives. I've been using these for years now um, with all my fishing expeditions, and they're great. They're absolutely great. But in general, a general rule of thumb, whether you're working in the kitchen or you're working on fish, you always want to use a sharp knife. Using a blunt knife is going to be 10 times more dangerous for you, and it's going to take forever to get the job done. A sharp knife will be efficient, and you'll get it done, done 10 times quicker. So I've got my knife and my sharpening steel here. Even before you use your knife, a good tip is you always go ahead and sharpen it. That way your knife will never go dull. So let me go ahead and do this, get my sunglasses on. And this is a 10 inch sharpening steel from Bubba Blade. This is awesome. You want to grip it like a tennis racket, like this. You want to keep, make sure your fingers are back behind this barrier here because while you're sharpening, you don't want to slice one of your fingers off. So hold it like that. And then you want to take your blade and get a good firm grip on it so you can actually go ahead and sharpen it. And when you go to sharpen it, it's going to be at a 45 degree angle. And sorry if this looks weird, I'm left-handed. I apologize, guys, it looks weird to me. But you want to start at the end of the blade here and then work up to the top. So I am going to just do a 45 degree angle and go like that, just like that. Start from the bottom to the top of the blade. And then you want to do the same on the other side of the blade. Get it nice and sharp. And then you want to do a couple quick strokes, right, like so, quick, quick, short strokes like this. Nice. And now that blade should be ready to go. And so this is my 9-inch tapered flex knife. I like a little bit of flex in my knives to get through that fish, and it just works great for me. And this is a 7-inch tapered flex, and you can see it comes in these great, nice little uh, sheets. Spraying off my knife, I want to make sure that I get those little uh, dust off of the blade and not onto the fish meat. Now, 
I have shown in past videos on YouTube here how to fillet a snook. And so if you want the full details on that, because I know it is snook season and people are catching slot snook, um, go ahead and check out that video. I'll link it up in the corner for you guys to check out here. But I'm going to go ahead and just fillet this fish, get it done. And um, if you're interested in checking that out, go ahead and check it out. filleting fish and this pertains to any fish it doesn't matter fresh water salt water you you should open up their stomach just to see what they've been eating and you know that way you know for the future so you can use that type of bait to catch them in the future but um, it's good to know I also like to dissect the fish I think it's kind of cool and um, it's, you can find really interesting stuff in their stomach so let's find out what this fish has in it this fish has a really big stomach there's something huge in here look at that and you can tell by because it's the biggest organ in the whole entire body here. So let's go ahead and cut it open here and see what it is. This is crazy. And oh my gosh, look at this. It's a huge freshwater shad. And these shad live in the freshwater and actually at the spillway freshwater fishing, this shad ended up coming through the spillway with the gushing water and these big old snook are waiting in there eating up these freshwater baits truly incredible this type of shad would not be able to live in the salt water so that's crazy a big shad in his stomach and he still ate my monster mullet so that was a hungry snook now for the cook portion of this video which I know is the most important part to you guys I know you guys are really excited to find out what we're catching what we're cooking and we're cooking something really cool what's it called dad it's called fish on papillote papillote have you guys ever heard of that <laughs> if you haven't it's called it's paper fish in paper and we've never done this before you actually had it growing up long right long time ago long long time ago yeah. so we're going to try this out and see what happens we're going to start with the first steps and show you how we're going to do this uh, go back to the beginning fish uh and papillote is just fish in paper it's steamed so you're going to lay your fish on top of a bed of vegetables vegetables of your choice whatever you like in this case we're using uh broccoli and that's uh, the, that's asparagus. A, I'm so sorry. Cauliflower. Cauliflower. And asparagus. Yep. Tomatoes. tomatoes mushrooms. Mushrooms. And mushrooms. some lemon on top. Lemon on top. Right. So we're just gonna we're gonna parboil the denser vegetables so we make sure they finish the steaming process in the oven. Right. right. And then you cook it like all together in the paper. That's correct. Exactly. You right. fold the paper over. Just, uh, yes, we do. Right. We'll make that. Well, we're gonna show you all the steps on how this is gonna go. So yeah, this is just the beginning. We got all the ingredients laid out, and so basically we're just waiting for this to be what is it parboiled? Parboiled first, right. and then uh, we'll kind of show you how we're gonna do it and uh, cut the paper and all that good stuff. So here's our veggies. Um, we'll cut these all like real thin. Yep. Yes. Yep, so they steam, and then a sliced lemon will be thin on top, and we'll start the paper, the parchment paper, next. Yeah, and then, and basically with the uh, vegetables, when you go to steam it in the paper, you want them real thin. So like this is pretty thin, but you probably want to go ahead and just cut it one more time. So it's super thin, and that's going to steam real nice and, and give the fish more of a delicious flavor. And of course, I'm using my bubble blade knife. Now, now, Connor already cut these. You don't think he cut them thin enough? Is that, that what you're one, saying? That one was a little thick, so <laughs> I fixed it. Uh, before we get the fish out of the fridge, we want to make sure we have everything prepared. So we need to prepare our paper, and this is parchment paper. This is just your standard paper I got bought at the grocery market, at the grocery store. I'm sure I could buy it anyway, anywhere, and I'll link it down in the description if you're interested. But I would say probably at least I don't know, a foot and a half long or so. And I'm gonna go ahead and. Get it to slice. There we go. That was kind of messed up, but whatever. But now, what you do is you just want to fold it in half, like so. And then, after you fold it in half, you actually are going to cut the paper into the shape of a heart. And that's how you're going to prepare your fish. So basically, just like you would back in middle school or elementary school, you're going to go ahead and cut your paper just like this. Something like that. So the fish is just gonna lay in the middle here and we'll show you what we're gonna do with it now. All right. She loves me. She loves me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Boom, boom, boom. Cutting up some lemon right now, just finished. Go check it out, my little design I made. Nice. But yeah, we're getting to it. Hopefully we'll 
Get now, I stuff. saw that in the last video, some people commented that Darcy may have been a little over-anxious with your fishing pole. Honestly, guys, you just got to roll with the punches. That's just something I deal with on a daily basis. I do have four older sisters, and I'm the youngest brother. You have so four older sisters? I do. <laughs> I know. I'm surprised four. I made it this far, but it's whatever. You just got to deal with it. Deal with it. Just adapt and overcome. That's my mentality, and it's whatever. We landed the fish, so that's all I care about. Thumbs up. <laughs> How you doing, Bubba? You know, check this out, guys. You see all this? This is all dog medicine. Not my medicine. <laughs> not the dog medicine. All this. Great. Time we're dicing up some garlic because that's not diced. Well, not dicing, but we're cutting up thin slices of garlic. Mm, how's that taste? Garlicky. Nice. <laughs> oh, it's strong. Okay. The Arrow Hills and me love garlic. Oh yes. Yeah. Get your blood veins open, you know. Get that pump going. <laughs> you know how I am, Come but. On. Of course, you, have, you can't have general our garlic. That just doesn't happen in this household, and we need it always. So, cutting some up right now. Stay tuned. And just a reminder, kind of single ladies. I am going to the Marines. Thirty days. Twenty six. But <laughs> what's, your, what's your what's your Instagram? Connor under Connor underscore Arahill. It's Connor C O N N O R. Two ends. See Hill, chill, bro. Yeah. That's Twitter. Twitter yeah. <laughs> All right, now it's time to get the the fish and the veggies on the paper and get it prepared to go in the oven. And actually, this I think this would be something kind of fun to do with your family or your kids and just get your stuff ready. I think it's a cool way to cook. But um, I also wanted to mention to you guys real quick that you could do this in any order you want. Uh, you don't have to follow this exactly as we're doing it, and you can use different veggies. You don't have to use these either. It's your own concoction of veggies and fish. Final step is folding the paper over in the heart shape, folding it over on closing the whole entire uh, concoction that you made. And basically I'm just kind of just folding it over and then kind of just twisting the end shut like so. So that way it's going to stay nice and shut. And it's going to be pretty cool because once it's done cooking, this paper is going to blow up literally like a balloon. So it's going to be really cool to see. Let me make sure it's actually tight on there good. Now this is officially the final, final step before they go in the oven. But the drawn butter that my dad showed us how to do, which is pretty cool, it's all ready to go here, nice and melted. And what we're going to do first is, for, to each one of these um, papers with the fish, I'm going to flip it over. And basically, we're just going to apply the butter liberally to this whole entire bottom half here. Just like that, with the basting brush. Add a little more. And then I'm going to flip it back over and do the same on top, and then it's going to be ready to throw in the oven. So we got to do all four of these, and then we're going to be ready to uh, eat it in the next few minutes here. Or 400, between uh, 10 and 15 minutes. We're going to watch them. We want the paper to be golden brown and puffed up. This would be like a big balloon. Yeah. So we're going to keep an eye on it. We're gonna, this will set the alarm for 10 minutes or whatever, check it, and then go from there. Fish is ready. Oh, is it burned? No. Nice. Smells really good too. Wow. This is going to be awesome. So that's, you, you can see what happened. We cooked it for about 15 minutes. It did need a little bit of a longer time than we thought. But you kind of just got to look at it, see what the paper looks like. The paper should be brown like this, and it should be blown up exactly how this looks. So you kind of just got to keep your eye on it. But uh, we're going to go ahead and open one and see how it looks. Look at that. That fish is cooked. Delicious. Wow. Oh, yeah. It looks nice. Came out nice. <laughs> that looks Good awesome. Show. We got a lot of juices in there. Here you go. We got a lot of juices in there and everything looks very cooked. Oh. Check it out. Oh go. yeah. Oh baby, it's good. That snook, that snook is cooked. And I'm going to try it in just a second. It's a little hot. And uh, I don't have an iron mouth, so I can't. I do. Brian will try it. <laughs> and you're not going to see him try it because he has a camera this way. Here you go. I got it. Mm. Taste test. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Lemon. There's a taste test. 
It's very good. Right. The paper holds all the juices in, and so it's very tender and uh, really good. Really juicy. Well. Yeah. It's really there good. There you go. You gotta have some with garlic, though, of course. It's freaking. Yes. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Garlic's all cooked. Mm. Delicious. Delicious. So during that like one minute of time that I just filmed Brian taking a bite and my dad and my brother, Brian just gave me back my plate and ate like half my fish. What the heck, man? And he's got his own plate right here. What the heck, man? All right, I'm going to taste it. Just saying. He said he was going to eat it and he did. If you guys want a really good, healthy, delicious recipe, this is awesome. Simple, yet delicious, and uh, can't get much better with snook. And I would assume you guys use it with any kind of fish you catch. Bass, snapper, whatever it is. Experiment with it. Let us know what you think. Your design yeah. ideas. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> go ahead and comment below. Try it out. Let us know what you think. <laughs> There's um. a thing coming out of his mouth. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You good over there, bro? I'm good. Are you good, bro? I'm okay, good, bro. cool. Yeah, flesh right. hanging on the inside of your mouth. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. It's time for us to eat dinner and chill out. We had a long day on the water, but it was an epic day for us. And uh, my dad's snook. I just I'm so happy and awesome about that. So, they, guys, if you like this video, make sure you like it. Subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell notification for future updates and notifications about our videos. And until our next adventure, Follow, Follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on eating. eating. <laughs> Let's go underneath. We gotta go underneath. Put it down. Put it down. Hold on. Hold on. We gotta clear him. You see, he's on the kayak. Do you guys? Do you guys oh, see this? Oh. Connor's fish. Connor, this is the star of the show. Look at this. Look. Connor, do this. You see everyone? Everyone's watching. Connor, do this. Do this. Hold your rod like this. Yeah. Real. Real. See? Real. 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 Everyone's popping. Darcy's stealing kids' fishes again. Yeah.